Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm outside of the beautiful Polynesian Hotel right now with uh, Cinderella's Castle as my backdrop right there behind me. Cinderella's Castle painted rose gold that is. Here, let's zoom in a little bit. It's still hard to say, but there she is. Um, and I'm here today to give you a tour of the Polynesian among um, the COVID-19 pandemic. We're gonna walk around the Polynesian Hotel today to give you a feel of what it's like if you were to stay here um, right around now. Um, currently the parks are not open. Um, the parks are scheduled to open on July 11th uh, for the Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom and then July 15th for Epcot and Hollywood Studios. Um, today it is June 27th, so we have two weeks until um, until the Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom open. Currently, right now at the Magic Kingdom Resort, you could stay at the Polynesian um, Resort. Um, you could stay at the Polynesian uh, DVC rooms and the bungalows out here in the water. Um, the actual hotel is not open. Um, not quite yet, but the DVC rooms and the bungalows right here on the water are open. As you can see, a few guests kind of walking right there from their room. So today we're going to walk around, kind of show you what there is to do at the resort. Uh, again, to give you a feel of what it's like to be here if you're planning a trip. Um, and also we're going to show you some of the safety precautions that the Polynesian and Disney has implemented to help keep guests and cast members safe. The first of which is face coverings. Everybody is required to have a face covering. Um, and yeah, since if you notice, if, you ever been, if you've ever been here before, there's usually a lot of people walking around right now in the early afternoon. Um, but of course with the actual hotel not open, it's pretty quiet. So um, when we get to the lot, I'm going to kind of tell you a few things that we're going to keep an eye out for now. And then as I get walking, keep walking and um, as people are near me so I don't disturb them, um, I'm going to kind of keep quiet. So a couple of things we're going to be on the lookout for. First and foremost is signage. There's a lot of signage here at Disney, um, at the Polynesian Resort and at all the Disney hotels and places right now. The signage um, tells you to maintain physical distancing, wear a face covering, cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze, wash your hands very often, use hand sanitizer when possible, and if you have any flu-like symptoms to make sure you seek medical attention. Another thing we're going to look for is that when they're um, in areas where it's hard to maintain physical distancing, like when you're checking into a hotel, the front desk, um, and you're talking to a cast member, yes, you're required to wear a face mask, but another thing that you'll notice is that there's physical barriers um, in the form of plexiglass that are in place to help um, keep you away from the cast members and to help keep you safe. Also, you'll notice signage on the floor um, you'll see some floor markings where you're supposed to stand if you're not able to go some into like a into like a um, store or something like that to help you again maintain physical distancing. You'll see um, hand sanitizer at pretty much every entrance and exit, and especially in front of um, restaurants, you will see hand sanitizer. So let's take a walk now um, and right now I'm at the tip here of the beach. There's some nice seating up here in the middle of the Polynesian. We're going to walk around the actual Polynesian buildings first and then we'll make our way to the lobby. Also, if you look at the beach over there, and um, there's a bunch of seating out there. The seating 
is specifically spaced out to be six feet apart to maintain, help maintain physical distancing. So if you come out here and you want to sit on the beach and tan, you're absolutely able to do that, but they ask you not to move the the um, chairs as, you know, they spaced them out specifically to maintain physical distancing. you notice the Polynesian torches are not lit right now. Normally every night around hmm, dusk, maybe even earlier than dusk, they have, uh, depending on the time of the year, they have a torch lighting ceremony. Things like that have been canceled. There will be no torch lighting ceremonies again because that promotes people in large groups. And the goal here is to maintain physical distancing. So these buildings back here, these buildings are part of the Polynesian Hotel and they are not closed or they are not open right now. They are closed. That room is open. Any of the buildings that are um, specifically for DVC are open. Those buildings are open. And I think we have one or two of them. This one right here to the right. This is one of them for sure. And we're about to come up here and see exactly what the building name is. Take a look at the map here. So where we are right now, we're right here. Tokilau, that is one of the um, DVC buildings. And I believe, uh, let's see, Pago Pago is the other one. Other than that, um, everything else should be closed right now. We're gonna take a look at the oasis pool, see if that's open, take a look at the lava pool, see if that's open, and kind of see what there is to do. And again, as I get closer and go inside, I will probably be a little quieter just so that I don't disturb any guests that are staying here right now because it is very quiet right now. And there's Tokilo. Okay, and as we make our way towards the pool here. We are seeing our first sign of health and safety reminders right here. Again, wear a face covering, maintain physical distancing, wash your hands when covering, when coughing or sneezing, cover your mouth and avoid touching eyes, nose and mouth. It does look like this pool right here is open right now. Some people would like to call this the quiet pool. The bar area is not open. Um, and there's usually is food that's for sale over here. And I don't see that that's open at the moment either. So now we're gonna go to the main pool. Which is also called the lava pool. We'll go take a look at that pool. 
see what's open. And then we will make our way into the great ceremonial house, which is the lobby of the Polynesian Resort. Mm. Quickly, while we're here, I just noticed another sign right over there. You see that sign right there? It says, please do not move chairs. They have been positioned to keep a minimum of six feet, six feet between you and others. So while they encourage you to go to the pool, they have already separated the chairs to help you maintain physical distancing. So one thing that you would not want to do is move the chairs. Okay, and now as we make our way over to the lava pool, the lava pool is hopping. Quite a few people on this hot summer day in the lava pool. If you notice, the lifeguards unfortunately have to wear a mask, but again, that's for their safety and for the safety of the guests. While you're in the pool, you obviously don't have to wear a mask, but they do ask you to maintain physical distancing. Also over here, ask not to um, move the chairs. And if you look way back there, there's a kid's area with kids running up and down. That area is open as well. This lava pool is a lot of fun. The top of the volcano right there. So you see some kids right now, it's the beginning of the slide. And the slide ends right over there. And if you subscribe to my channel at Life in the Magic, the Life in the Magic channel, you could see a video of that slide. Search Lava Pool Slide and you could find the water slide. A POV point of view video of going down that slide. And looking over here at Captain Cook's, it's the restaurant here, the little food court here. At the, uh, at the um, Polynesian here. And again, you'll notice all these tables are spaced out quite a bit. And again, that's to help with physical distancing. So let's go into Captain Cook's and go, uh, actually, let's go into the lobby. See the back of the lobby right here. And again, once I'm in the lobby, I will probably be a little quieter as not to disturb the guests. And again, Here's a little pineapple ice cream place where you can get the famous Dole Whip. Again, you'll see hand sanitizer right there. Signs on the ground as to where to stand. To help maintain physical distancing. I get some hand sanitizer as I come in. Look at these tables right here. All the tables have maintained physical distancing signs. Boards like that. And at the front desk here, you'll see the plexiglass barriers that help keep you and the cast members from being too close together. The boutique is open. And if you notice, 
to go into the store, they ask that you go in on the right side here. Begin with signage and with hand sanitizer and markings on the floor of where to stand if they fill up so that if it's too busy in the store, they will have people wait outside of the store. And then they do not want you to come in this way. There's an exit only sign as well as markings on the floor to go in and out a specific way. And all that is to help maintain physical distancing. So let's our, make our way upstairs. See what's open upstairs. And then we will make our way back out and finish up the tour. Elevators. One party of or four individuals per elevator. They do not want groups of families in the elevator. Disinfectant wipes in front of the elevators. And it says for use on surfaces only. They don't want you to use these wipes on your hands. They want you to use them when pressing buttons on the elevator. More signage. Let's go up to the second floor. And then we will make our way outside, back outside. The Moana Mercantile is open. Hello. Cafe is open. And again, while you're eating, you also do not need to wear a face covering. Every table, pretty much every table has a little sign that says to maintain physical distancing. We're gonna make our way downstairs, look at Captain Cook's, and then make our way back outside. Captain Cook's sign right out front asking you to place a mobile order. Scan the QR code to do the mobile order. Hand sanitizer. Civic spots. Aloha. Aloha. The civic spots as to where to go to receive your order, your mobile order, pick up one or two. And then the seating it again out here, spaced out to help maintain physical distancing. And I missed these errands on the floor as to how to go in and out. Okay, we're gonna make our way outside here. Nothing over here is open. None of these buildings are DVC buildings, so they are not open yet. So it's very quiet on this side. The background there, you can see Cinderella's castle again a little bit. The marina is not open.
from here, you could walk to the Grand Floridian. Let's take a look at this running trail sign. This sign's always here. This is a good indicator of where you could go here. Um, right now we're at the bottom there where it says you are here. Behind me is the walkway along the beach to the Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. And yeah, and then in front of me is the Polynesian. So let's give a recap of what we learned about the Polynesian today. So again, to give you an idea of what you would expect when you're here, what to experience right now, it's very quiet. None of the parks are open. Only the DVC resorts are open. The DVC buildings of the Polynesian are open. Um, when you're inside, there's signage pretty much everywhere to maintain physical distancing. You're required to wear a mask. There's hand sanitizer pretty much at every entrance and exit for you to use liberally. You're encouraged to wash your hands. Very often, there's specific entrances and exits for the uh, merchandise locations, again, to promote physical distancing. At the pool areas and at the beach, there are specific, um, the chairs are positioned specifically to help maintain physical distancing and they ask you not to move those chairs. In narrow areas and other way, places, there's um, arrows on the ground as to which, you know, to stay to the right when you are on those walkways. And in areas where there are, um, where it's hard to maintain physical distances, like physical distancing, like at um, cash registers and the front desk, there are plexiglass barriers to keep you and the cast members safe. And signage like this is pretty much everywhere. So I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Um, please let me know how I did in the comments. I'm always uh, looking for ways to make my videos better. If you have any suggestions of what you're looking for, um, please let me know and I will make every effort to make those videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, I will be doing more of these videos um, pretty much around each and every hotel as I am able to make it there. And again, right now with the parks not open, parks opening in about two weeks, it's really hard to um, know what to expect when the parks do open. So I will be back making another video to show you what it's like once the parks are open to give you a good idea of what to expect if you are planning a trip here. So please subscribe to my channel and let me know if there's anything else you are looking for. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope you all stay safe and healthy. Aloha.